everyone, my name is Marie, welcome to my channel and welcome to another speed build. So for today's video I am building a community lot and I'm building a cafe with the new kit, well actually it's not that new anymore, but with the most recent kit that we got, um, when did we actually get it? I think maybe a couple of months ago or maybe not even that, but it, it was not that long ago. And um, yeah, I built this cafe, like a courtyard cafe with a new kit. I just never got around to sharing it because we got a kit and then the new game pack, Dream Home Decorator, like really, like released back to back. So yeah, I, I just, I never really got around to sharing this one. So I still had it sitting here on my computer and um, yeah, I felt like I wanted to share this one with you guys today because I really like this lot and I still really wanted to share it. So I figured why not share it today? So yeah, it's, it's, it's a nice little cafe and I started building it in Oasis Springs um, on this little yeah, lot like uh, the community lot that is um, actually supposed to be a community lot in the more like downtown area of Oasis Springs, but I figured like really fast that this lot was going to be way too small for what I had in mind. And also I wanted the like the environment, the surroundings to be a little bit more, I don't know, a little bit more Oasis like, I guess, a little bit more dreamy, a little bit prettier and maybe a bit more like luxurious and I don't know, there is just a lot of roads surrounding this lot and it was just not quite the vibe that I wanted for this build. So soon you'll see that I moved it to a different spot in Oasis Springs in the more like green area where the larger um, Mediterranean houses are located basically. Um, so yeah, I, I figured that spot was way nicer, like it suited this build way better. And I just, I don't know, I liked it better over there, but I, I figured I just, I wanted to try and build it in the more downtown area first. Um, but yeah, it, it just, it didn't really work out. And it was also just way too small because I wanted to create this, like this huge courtyard where you can sit and have your coffee and just hang out. And I also wanted to create a little pond in the middle or like a little fountain rather. So that's what I did. And yeah, here you can see that I moved it to the other spot in Oasis Springs and it just looks way better here. Also because of all the greenery and it is supposed to be like a courtyard oasis. So yeah, I don't know. This whole environment was just a lot better. And yeah, here you can see that I was definitely fiddling around with creating the courtyard. And then there is this huge like part of the building on the back as well and I ended up placing another coffee bar in there and also some bubble blowers and just some couches and some nice places to sit. So this cafe is actually really, really big. It ended up being really spacious. There are a lot of tables here, a lot of places to sit and hang out and yeah, like I said, I also created a little pond in the middle and all in all, I actually really, really like the way that this, um, that this came out. However, Building it was such a struggle. For some reason, the game was glitching out on me the whole time, probably also because I was using a lot of the platform tool and that tends to glitch out from time to time, especially when you're using it a lot. I don't know, it's just, it. I think the team needs to look at the, the platform tool a little bit because it tends to glitch out a lot actually which is really annoying and you can see that I also used a lot of columns for this build and um, combined with spandrels and for some reason it was not working with me like it gave me the wrong pieces of spandrel in between the columns the whole time and the wrong heights of columns and I couldn't change it and yeah it was just it was a whole ordeal like it was so annoying and it was glitching out on me the whole time I think I ended up restarting the game about four times while building this and I actually started over with the whole like back part of the build and the whole like courtyard area I started over twice because it was just glitched out and I couldn't fix it like restarting the game wouldn't even help so that was really annoying and I honestly don't know why that happened because it's not like this build is not very intricate it's not very 
complicated. The shape is really basic. And I mean, obviously I do use move objects, but for all these, these, these build items that I'm placing, like the, um, the platforms and the columns and the spandrels and everything, you don't need move objects for that. So I don't know why it was glitching out on me so much, but it did. And it was really annoying. Um, but here you can see that I actually ended up figuring everything out. And, um, I created this like staircase out of platforms and the game was not liking that either, but it ended up working. I did actually cut out a lot of the footage of me like struggling with the game basically. Um, but yeah, it ended up looking really nice and I'm really happy with the way that it ended up looking because it looks so dreamy to me and this whole courtyard ends up being so nice and I could easily like see myself when I'm playing the game, like gameplay wise, I could easily have my Sims like literally spend the whole day here because obviously they can buy food here. They can buy coffee and stuff like that. They can't really buy like whole meals. They can just buy snacks and stuff from the barista. But um, I don't know. I could just see my, my Sims like spend the whole day here. I actually, at first I wanted to place a pool instead of a fountain, but that was just going to be a little bit too cramped and a little bit awkward. So I ended up not doing that. So I just placed a fountain, but still it looks really, really nice. And I was having a lot of fun with this build color scheme wise. It ended up being a little bit crazy. You can see that I used those tiles that we got with the Courtyard Oasis kid. And I really wanted to try and, and like combine different colors together, like different swatches of the tile together and so that's what I did. So the flooring on the inside of the main part, like the um, the front part of, of the build, if that's what you can call it, um, I use a lot of the colors combined together and I think it ends up looking really cool. It's definitely a lot, like when you first walk into this build, it's, it's definitely a lot, like there is a lot of colors going on, there's just a lot going on in general, um, but I think it looks really cool and since this is not an actual house, like it's not a residential lot, but a community lot, I figured I could do something a little bit more out there that I wouldn't necessarily do for a family home, for example. So I don't know. I just try to go a little bit crazy with the colors and stuff like that. But I also try to tone it down here and there. I used like a lot of white as well. And then that like rusty brown, orangey color of the wall paint as well for the back part of the lot and also for a couple of accent walls here and there. And I just think that it looks really nice. I really love that color. I think it's so pretty and it's definitely a color that I would want to use in real life. I just think it looks really cool. Um, but there are a couple of bathrooms here and there as well. And um, I placed two barista bars, like two coffee bars in total. And I did playtest this lot as a bar as well, because obviously I wanted to make sure that everything works properly. Um, so everything works, except the thing with cafes is that you can only have one barista working on the lot. And I did place two coffee bars. Um, so I actually was hoping that maybe it would automatically like fill all of the coffee bars with baristas. Like I was really hoping that the game would do that automatically, but it only gives you one barista. And normally what you can do is you can click that item. You can click that coffee bar and hire another barista that your Sim will have to pay for. But I mean, it's okay because I just wanted to try and see if it worked. Um, but sadly I couldn't hire another barista because the game would tell me that there is already a barista on the lot, which there is obviously. Um, so yeah, I couldn't make that work sadly. And you can't really move the barista that the game gives you automatically. Like it's just there. It just chooses a coffee bar for you. I think the closest one to like the front door or whatever, I'm, I'm not exactly sure, but that makes sense to me. So I think that that is what happens. Um, but yeah, I also placed a coffee bar, like I said here, um, at the back of the lot in the part, like in that, in that other part, you'll see, you'll see me do that once we get to it. But sadly you can't have a barista working there, but you can have your own Sim tend the bar. 
um, which is a little bit weird because you probably want your sim to be here um, to just hang out and have coffee and hang out with friends. But one thing you can also do is just if you are using MC Command Center, maybe you don't even need MC Command Center for that, but I know that you can use MC Command Center for that. You can, um, for example, like just add a random sim that is visiting this lot. You can just add a random sim to your household and have that sim like tend the bar and then once you're ready to leave, you can just um, delete the sim from the family. Like that is that is a thing that you can do. I tried that and it works and um, it's, it's not the most realistic thing. And if you're not playing with cheats or anything, then obviously that doesn't work. But um, yeah, if you want a barista at the other coffee bar, you can do that. Like there is a way to do it. It's just a little bit weird and maybe not the most realistic, but yeah, I just, I played this today just to make sure because it's definitely a thing that, um, that I would do, I think. Um, but yeah, you can do that or you can just leave that coffee bar empty and have, and just not have a barista tend at the bar. And then you can just, you can just buy your coffee at the front coffee bar, if that makes sense. Um, that obviously that works. Um, but yeah, I just felt the need to explain this to you guys because I was really hoping that I could have two baristas. But yeah, sadly that just, it doesn't work. Um, but you can see the landscaping come together. I was trying to make it a little bit more manicured because I felt like that suited this lot a little bit better than having it like being totally like overgrown and stuff like that. I thought that that just wasn't really the vibe for this lot. So I placed a couple of like trees and just bushes surrounding the whole thing because it, the whole build is quite symmetrical as well. So yeah, I just felt that like a little bit more manicured landscaping would be nicer for this one. And also because it's a community lot, like I wanted it to be kind of like easy to look at, if that makes sense, and easy to route around for your Sims as well. So I just, I didn't go too crazy with the landscaping and stuff like that. Um, but for this build, I was actually really happy to use these huge archways with the open doors because the other build that I did with this kit, which I did a while back, like when the kit was first released, I built a family home and um, I, I wasn't able to use these archways or these doors because I was not using the tall wall height for that build. But for this one, I am mainly because I wanted to use these archways because they would just be so perfect for a build like this. So I use them and I definitely overuse them because I don't know, since I had the chance to use them here, I just really went for it and I literally placed them everywhere. But I think it looks really, really cool. Um, I just, I think that those doors are so pretty. They look so good and they really just definitely obviously suit this build because I was purposely building with the kit. Um, so that makes sense, but yeah, I just, I'm overall just very happy with the way that this, that this build came out. And I hope that you enjoy it too. Let me know if you want to place this in your game, because I do think that it would be really fun to play with. I didn't really use it for my own gameplay just yet. I did playtest it, but that's the only thing I did with it. So yeah, but just let me know if you would like to place this in your game and how it works. Um, if you enjoy using it, because I'm really curious to know. But here you can see that this is the first coffee bar that I'm placing down. And this is the one at the front of the lot, like when you first walk in to the build. Um, there is this little coffee bar around the corner where you can just right off the bat go and um, grab a coffee, grab something to eat, and then just take that outside with you and uh, sit down somewhere outside if you want to, or inside because there are a couple of um, seating spaces inside as well. But this little part of the build is actually not that big. So I just placed that coffee bar area and then over on this side by the other staircase, I placed a couple of couches with a coffee table in between so you can hang out here when the weather is not that nice, maybe when it's a little bit colder. Or I mean, it's probably not gonna be really cold here because it is the desert. So it probably won't rain that much either, but I don't know, maybe you just wanna hang out inside instead of outside, maybe because it is too hot outside. That's obviously also a possibility. Um, so yeah, I just placed a couple of couches and then just an additional little table with a couple of chairs around it where your Sims can just sit and hang out. Um, obviously this, this whole place just has a ton of tables and chairs and couches and places to hang out. So it's, it's really, really big. 
Um, but if you have a save file that is really full, like where you have a lot of sims, I think it would be a lot of fun. And I don't know, cafes, in my opinion, whenever I play the game, cafes tend to be really crowded. A lot of sims tend to spawn there, in my opinion, or like in my experience. Um, so I think that it will fill up. I think that won't be too much of a problem. But here you can see this is the little downstairs area of the main building and I just placed a couple of extra chairs here and I also placed a couple of games. I placed a don't wake the llama table on one side and then a chess table on the other side. So if you want to have your sims play a little game then they can definitely go ahead and, um, and do that. If you want to add some more games up here obviously you can do that. You can just delete these little dining tables in the middle and maybe like add a foosball table or a ping pong table if you have um, Discovery University for example. You can just go ahead and do that but yeah I just I wanted to place a couple of extra dining tables in here. Um, and there are also two bathrooms up here as well so there are no bathrooms in the main building downstairs but there are two buildings or I mean two bathrooms upstairs right here and then at the back of the lot there are two additional bathrooms as well. Um, so yeah, it's nothing special. You can definitely tell that this build is not that cluttered either because it is a community lot so it just wouldn't make sense to have it be extremely cluttered. Like that just doesn't make sense for a community lot. I want it to be very neat and very nice and yeah, also quite luxurious. I do think that this is a place where sims come to hang out that have a little bit more money to spend like obviously it doesn't have to be that way but it just feels very grand and also because it is located in the more wealthy looking area of oasis springs so it kind of almost has a little bit of a country club vibe except for it doesn't have a pool and for some reason in my mind i feel that Country clubs usually have pools or a golf course and things like that. Um, obviously this build doesn't have that, but for some reason still, it kind of feels like a country club to me. So yeah, definitely quite luxurious and yeah, just nice. And for like, well, obviously it's not for wealthy people. Like obviously anyone can come here and hang out, but that is just the vibe that it gave me. Um, I'm placing just a couple of vines on the wall here, by the way, because one thing that was also glitching out was um, the railings around the stairs or by the stairs. It was just they were they were clipping through the wall and it was driving me crazy, but I didn't want to delete the railings because that would just be very annoying and it would just look very unrealistic as well. So I didn't delete the railings, but they were clipping through the wall and you can see them on the outside and it was just really, really ugly and it was driving me crazy. But I figured I could just, um, I don't know, cover them up with some vines. So that's what I did and I think it looks nice. I think it makes sense for this build. So I'm actually happy that I did that. Honestly, I probably would have placed vines on those walls even if there wasn't any clipping. Um, but yeah, I just uh, wanted to point that out that there were just a lot of glitches with this build for some reason. But here you can see I'm placing the second coffee bar at the back of the lot in the other building, like part of the building, if that makes sense. I don't really know how to explain this, this exact layout. Um, but basically you just have to walk through the courtyard to, um, yeah, to get there, to, to reach that coffee bar. Um, so I placed that one there and here you can see that I was um, starting to place down a couple of seating areas. This is also all very symmetrical. I like literally copied everything over from the other side, but that was just the whole vibe that I was going for. I wanted it to be quite easy for gameplay as well because I always really enjoy it when I am playing the game and I'm going over to a spacious lot like this. I just, I really, I really enjoy it when it's a little bit more easy to route around and just easy to look at and easy to figure out as well, like where everything is located and stuff. So yeah, I just figured I would make this quite symmetrical, quite nice. I just placed a couple of couches and some coffee tables. Obviously I overused all of the items from the kit, but 
I was just, I was building this, I was building this, this cafe with the kit in mind. So I just, I really wanted to try and use every single item from the kit. And I think I succeeded. I think I ended up using literally everything except for maybe like one version of the spandrels because I didn't really want to use two different versions of the spandrels combined, like mixed. I didn't want to do that. So but yeah, other than that, I think I literally used everything that we have in the kit and I'm really happy with it. I'm, I'm just overall really pleased with how um, with how this came out. And over on this side, I just placed a couple of larger dining tables because for the rest of the build, like I placed smaller ones everywhere, but I also wanted to include a couple of larger dining tables so that you can have like a group of Sims sit together and just celebrate a birthday or an, like a, like an anniversary or something like that. Um, if they just have something to celebrate and they're with a larger group of Sims, they can also just sit down together. I really wanted to make sure that that was a possibility. So over here on this side, you can see that I placed a couple of bubble blowers as well and then also an extra large like dining table on that side as well. And I also decided to place a couple of bookcases. I just really enjoyed the way that these bookcases combined with like the whole style of this build. I think it looked really, really cool. So I decided to just place them there. And it's also nice so that your Sims can just grab a book and have something to read while they hang out here in this, like in this courtyard cafe. I don't know, I just felt like it made sense to place a couple of bookcases so that there are some like some extra activities here and there. And yeah, you can see that I just decorated the place a little bit with some more plants. I am so in love with that huge potted plant that we got with this kit. I think it looks so pretty. It's it's so ridiculously nice. It is really, really big, but for this build, it was actually perfect. Um, it fit like perfectly in here. So I was really happy with that as well. And here you can see that I just um, decorated an additional bathroom quickly and there is one across from this one like the exact same one just copied over as well so just mirrored so yeah there are four bathrooms in total which should be plenty i think um obviously you could also split these bathrooms in two if you want more um because they are very spacious and then i used a couple of these huge like hanging lights from the batu pack what's it called um, Journey to Batu. I know that not many people have that pack, but the lambs were just so perfect for for this build that I had to use them. I placed them um, inside because they're so big and so low hanging, but for the tall wall height, it just makes perfect sense. Um, but that's actually it. So let's hop into the game and I'll show you the build in real time. So here we have the build in the game. I think it looks very inviting, very nice, very luxurious. I also like that it has like this pond in the background. It just, it really suits the whole Oasis theme in my opinion. So I'm really happy about that. And the build is actually quite self-explanatory. I mean, it's a cafe um, and that's all it is. But here you can see like when you walk into the build, you have this nice hallway, little entryway. And then over on this side, there is a coffee bar where you can just buy some treats as well and choose your tea flavor if you um, if you got a tea and then over here on this side there is a little area where you can just sit down and hang out inside and then upstairs we have a couple of additional tables to sit and hang out and then a chess table over here on this side and a don't wake the llama table over there and the two bathrooms but then the most important part of the build obviously is the whole oasis courtyard so here we have the courtyard it has has a couple of tables well actually it has a lot of tables around this fountain area and yeah it's like I said really really self-explanatory but I tried to make it look very green there are a lot of plants and trees everywhere because I did want to capture the whole oasis part like the whole oasis vibe and I think I succeeded I mean I think it just looks so peaceful and so nice and I'm just really happy with the way that this turned out but then over here we have a couple of extra places to hang out if you want to be a little bit more comfortable then you can sit here on one of the couches and just hang out there or if you're with a larger group then you can sit here at one of the larger tables and then over here we have 
have the second coffee bar that obviously is not functional unless you cheat a little bit then um, then you can make it work and then over here when you walk through here we have the bookcases and another larger dining table and then over here we have the bubble blowers I really like this little like splash of color with the little poofs I think it just looks so nice and it completely fits the vibe in my opinion but that is actually it for this build so this courtyard cafe is up on the gallery as you can see it's really expensive but I mean it doesn't really matter because it's a community lot so you don't have to pay for it but yeah it is up on the gallery if you want to use it but that's actually it for this video so I really hope that you enjoyed this build you can download it off the gallery like I just showed you my username on the gallery is Simmery Sims you can also follow me on Twitter and on Instagram if you'd like my username on there is Simmery Sims as well if you're not subscribed to my channel already feel free to do so and if you want to be notified of every single time I upload a video just click that little bell icon and you should be fine so I just want to say thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!